so welcome everyone to this uh, today's topic on the introduction to devops right and uh, pretty much we'll go through some particular slides here so to get a perfect understanding about what is devops when starting off with the uh, definition of what exactly is devops let me give you a small uh, particular understandings that what exactly some of the um, important things which is there in the industry from the devops you related to devops but still it's happening in the industry now let's take an example now you're working as a development team and uh, you're working as a developer and the primary goal of yours is that you have to design or you have to develop the application right but due to uh, you know limited access you cannot really bring or move that application to the environment to the real production environment you cannot host that particular part now in this scenario what happens that uh, there are some uh, particular manual stuff which you may be doing you are working in organization where most of these tasks are done as a manual work and there is no automation around that so a lot of things uh, can actually be uh, available over there in that part yes so when you are working when you are doing the hosting of your application you may be doing the things in manual way which is not a standard but still it's happening in the organization now this was very common probably 5 or 6 years back when we are looking forward to our project whatever project you are working maybe you were working on a startups or you're working on multinational organization but most of the environment it was a uh, like the mechanism in such way that uh, whenever we are doing the implementation whenever the uh, different organizations are going for the implementations they always see that how they can do these stuff manually so there were very limited scope about the automations which was there that was the reason some organization yes they were doing the automations they were doing that uh, stuff but most of the organizations was uh, in such a way that they were not uh, able to perform the activities like they were not able to do the uh, particular uh, automations due to some limitations and a lot of stuff was there right so this was the reason why the organizations was forced to do the manual stuff and uh, when they were talking about the automations they were like facing a lot of issues on that particular part so that is where they were organizations try to do a lot of automations they try to evolve but still the standard processes or the market standards are not that much uh, matured enough that it can bring a huge change to the automation to the overall software development now with the introduction of uh, topics like agile and devops they actually put up a huge impact on how the overall software development is being taken care there is a lot of tools which comes into the picture like cloud tools aws cloud azure cloud google cloud these are all different tools which comes in the industry and they really change the overall picture of the industry not only from the cloud from the tools perspective in fact from the process perspective also there are a lot of enhancements there were a lot of new additions which was there so organizations started talking about agile they talked about scale the agile scrum safe they are talking about different different terminologies different methodologies so there were a lot of enhancements which was being going on both on the development and the operations perspective now these enhancements or the new processes were designed in such a way that we have to really come out of our traditional approaches whatever the traditional man manual stuffs or traditional uh, implementations we are doing we have to somehow come out of that and we have to give an ultimate uh, automations and whatever automations we are looking forward that should be quite effective and efficient that's a main reason that was the main focus of the overall the implementation of agile scrum safe all these different different technologies in traditional mechanism when we were not talking about devops and when these devops and all these stuff was not implemented so what used to happen that the organizations development team focuses on only on the development part they used to do the development and handed over the uh, source code or the product to the operation teams and that's where the operation team struggle to host it and if any issue comes up so they uh, simply say that okay this is not an issue of the infrastructure it's an issue with the source code and then the whole clash between the development and the operation keeps on going on there so they say that okay this is not my issue operation team says that this is a development issue and development is saying that this is an operation issue so these kind of uh, discussions keeps on going when we were working on the traditional tools we were not having enough automations and there was no collaboration between these two teams so the development only focuses on how the applications can be developed and the operation teams were only focusing on how these can be hosted and at 
any moment of time they felt that there is an any issue uh, with the source code they simply send those things back to the developers to look upon and uh, this really causes a lot of downtimes and the issues in the production environment and this was a very common uh, scenario when it used to happen like the production deployments when the production environments used to happens on weekend this was the common scenario which used to happen now these were the problems which the organizations were facing because they were having first of all the traditional tools these traditional tools are not providing them the uh, end to end workflow end to end automations second people were not working in a collaborative manner they were working in their own specific roles and there was huge gap between communication back gap between these two teams different different teams and they were struggling or uh, facing a lot of issues in this particular mechanism so what was the solution then they talked about the organization the different scrum or agile practitioner they started discussing about a process called devops now devops is also known as a collaboration between the dev and the ops over here development and the operations over here when we are talking about this collaborations we are saying that the development and the operations need to collaborate with each other they need to collaborate in such a way that they can improve the overall quality of the product so that's the reason why devops is there is created with a combination of dev keyword and the ops keyword over here so that's why we call it as an devops over here in this one now when we are talking about this collaboration so we are thinking in this way that if we talk about a series of steps like doing the development creating the artifact doing the deployment hosting it on production environment these are all different steps which are involved into a complete automations a complete automation is involving all these different different steps now as part of devops you need to make sure that all these things are integrated in a sequence these all things in these are all automations should be done in such a way that you can get a complete end to end mechanism so whenever we are talking about devops we are talking about like how we can improve the collaboration and this collaboration should be improved so that the overall productivity and the efficiency of the product can be improved so you can uh, improve your processes you can improve your uh, particular uh, automations you can implement more and more modern tools when devops got launched it was focusing on improving the devops tools the kind of devops tools we have nowadays it's very extensive we are talking about cloud computing tools cloud tools we are talking about aws devops we are talking about ci cd pipelines we are talking about configuration management tools continuous monitoring docker kubernetes all these modern tools is evolved due to the requirement of devops due to the enhancements or the more and more popularity growing popularity of the devops here and that's the reason why when we talk about devops we talk about all these different devops tools here so devops implementation is very important from the organization perspective so this devops implementation is very important and uh, with the in organizations in fact earlier what happens that when we used to talk about cloud computing because i have worked in a lot of uh, international banks uh, banking sector and i have seen that you know the moment you talk about the cloud cloud computing you know these terminologies does not gets along with the technology in the banking sector because they are thinking from the security perspective that okay we want to host our infrastructure somewhere else so it's not secure so these kind of ideas they started getting about that that's a common fail earlier because at that time devops was not that much popular and you know organization were not educated enough to understand that what is the power of devops and how they can get the benefits out of that so that's the reason why these issues were there but pretty much now the value of the devops is not something which is unclear to anyone everyone whether it's a, a startup or it's a well known organization every organization every industry knows that what is the power of devops and how we can benefit it so that's the reason why within the last 5 6 years there is a huge demand on the devops both from the employment perspective and from the organization perspective also in fact now the clients the actual users and the clients are also pushing the organizations to go for devops and agile if they are not following it and i have seen uh, in a lot of organizations that the organization started following agile and uh, a devops only when the client comes in and says that okay we want to have these processes embedded into your product which we are purchasing so that's also a kind of a reason why 
there is a huge involvement of devops going on there so it's a collaboration between the uh, development operations we also include uh, qa or the quality assurance in the development part because they work endlessly with each other in parallel they work with each other there and that's the reason why this is where we call it as a devops a complete collaboration between the development and the operations over here and why they need to collaborate so that they can increase the overall efficiency and the product the quality efficiency the the performance everything is improved with the help of these processes we'll talk about other benefits also which we are getting in the upcoming slides but the uh, official or the one liner definition of devops is that it's a collaboration between the development and the operations secondly devops is nowhere devops will have will call you to hard code that say that okay i am going for implementation of devops and i have to go for this specific tools only so none of the definitions of devops is actually saying that you cannot do the devops implementations without the cloud or with cloud only you can do it it's not like that so devops is not restricted or it's not only there for a specific group of tools there it's a generic implementation if you can do a devops implementation in your organization using jenkins open source tool you can do the same thing with the team city pay tool also so there is no dependency of devops tools there so you know even if uh, somebody is saying that okay i have implemented uh, for implementation of devops you need to have the uh, aws cloud or azure cloud it's not like that so there is no dependency of the cloud or any specific tool of devops on the implementation of devops so devops can be implemented with the private infrastructure it can be implemented with the public infrastructure or the aws or these public different different public clouds why exactly we consider that devops is important because we are saying that it's in need of the r market is high for devops every organization is going for implementation but why exactly this is important why devops is important here so there are plenty of reasons about that the first one is a better collaboration now the benefits from the collaboration is that earlier the development and the operation teams actually are thinking that yes the implementations are going on there there are a lot of things which is going on on that part better collaboration is very important because right now what happens that when the development team is stuck with any issue so they you know uh, they try to contact the operation teams and you know try to resolve on that but at that time the operation teams is you know uh, is directly saying that this is not an operation issue and they don't really you know work with the development team on that part this is a very common thing i have also experienced these things but the moment we got into the approach of devops it's not like this is not my work this is your work this is not coming under my profile this is not under my jobs and responsibilities it's then became a collective approach a collective efforts that the teams need to come together they need to come along with each other just to make sure that whatever the implementation whatever the delivery they are doing that needs to be perfect and that's the reason why the at devops is primarily focusing on a better collab uh, collaboration as compared to traditional second one is that it's more responsive to the business needs great point because our business requirements are getting changed day by day because we are going for the implementations when we are doing the implementations whenever we are going for when we are dealing with a product with a particular business model so sometimes the requirements are not that much static so it's not like okay all the requirements will come in single shot itself and then you will be picking up those parts it's not like that so these uh, business requirements can be easily dealt up all the uh incremental changes or the frequent get changes will be delivered to the business can be handled up with, by the devops here then innovation faster devops with the devops tools and devops practices agile and all they are actually saying that we can deliver the things we can deliver the product or the features to the production environment in much faster pace because we are talking about cloud now if you are working as a startup and you don't want to go for the data centers and you want to you know like uh, make your application live within one month or two months and later on you will purchase your own infrastructure and all so cloud computing will enable you to create an easy infrastructure 
and cheap infrastructure also and uh, you know you can do it you can create the infrastructure on the go itself you don't require any uh, technical or uh, enhanced in from in uh, understanding about the infrastructure within uh, minutes itself you can create the virtual machines load balancers and all so you don't require that much understanding that much technical understanding and that much skills to create your infrastructure and this is a reason why most of the startups you must have seen that now they are getting immediately launched in the market in the industry because they don't really have to depend on the physical infrastructure data centers or you know hiring a particular person from the linux world and you know creating the infrastructure and all so they're just like uh, that they're deploying it to the cloud platform they are hosting their application and from there the business is live there itself so that's the reason why if the organizations who are working on the innovations or the new startups they are primarily working on all these modern practices like uh, adopting the devops to release their product a uh, few bugs definitely uh, with devops we are focusing on having the automations automated builds ci cd pipelines automated deployments automated testing so all these things ensures that you don't have the bugs or human errors anyways with automations on the testing part you can actually ensure that you can do more and more testing and you can uh, detect the defects without even causing any kind of manual errors maybe a person can overlook a scenario and may not test our application but the test cases will make sure that each and everything will be tested and that's something you can do it on daily basis also then faster time to market it means that whenever you are going for the implementation of devops so uh, it it enables you to have a frequent releases frequent releases is one of the best uh, benefit which we normally get from the devops and due to this reason why the organizations are able to deliver pretty much uh, fast in the industry there are a lot of organizations who are actually adopting the devops agile and all these processes just to make sure that every month they can have some delivery to the market to the industry and if we have better quality that's always a benefit of devops because with such a huge automations there comes the quality also so automation always ensures that you can have the things automated uh, you don't have to do the things in a manual way and you also get a better quality as an end result so these are all the reason why devops is pretty much required in the organization in the industry over here now talking about the history of indus of devops early i can say that in last 5 7 years i have seen like a huge uh, particular uh, demand of devops because when i started my career at that moment of time we were not hearing about devops engineer role people were still getting hired for the cloud engineers yes at that time cloud was very famous because i also uh, did a lot of courses on aws i attended myself as an aws training when i was having just one or two years of experience at that time virtualization engineer cloud engineer the build and release engineer the build owners deployment uh, engineers all these different roles were there these were all different system engineers these were different different roles which was present there at that moment of time because devops was not that much famous it just within last 5 to 7 years when all these tools like ansible docker kubernetes these comes into the picture there is a a huge boom into this industry and now everyone is talking about these tools we have more and more devops trainings going on there the cloud is active the industry is active and the market is also quite high for these particular profiles now you will not see build and release engineer these kind of traditional roles everyone is hiring devops e- even if they are hiring the person for only triggering the build and deployments they are still calling them as an devops engineers so that's the change which has happened on the industry level now around 2007 when agile was also there in the industry only agile was there agile was the only thing which was launched and the organizations and the people started following agile from the waterfall model so in around 2007 pratik debiosis was an agile practitioner who were actually you know who did a particular small introduction about devops and he started the discussion on devops that there is a huge need because agile alone is not sufficient for the organization to get that particular quality so that's the reason why they started up a particular discussion about the devops how the devops uh, can work and how they can get a benefits out of that 
and uh, you know then the same topic gets uh, triggered at the agile 2008 conference from there they got more discussions going on there then a lot of organizations a lot of tools like chef puppet jenkins all these different tools gets launched in this particular part then the organizations like lamb ibm microsoft ca they started discussions about this process and step by step around 2012 and 13 that is where the actual organization started the implementation of devops at the enterprise level so it took a lot of time to get mature to get uh, you know popular but once it's done so after that every organization quickly started moving on to this one here and now every organization somehow talking about the devops implementations now before even talking about the devops and agile so the organization were working on the waterfall model which was a very sequential level model it was there it was like a step-by-step -step mechanism which was available there and the organizations were running it just in sequence manner so it's also sometimes known as a particular software development life cycle so you have a requirement phase design implementation verification and maintenance phase the main typical problem with this model was that with this model everything needs to be done into a sequence model which means that the moment uh, you're done with the requirements you know you then only you can go with the design phase and when you're done with the design phase then only you can go with the coding phase so this was the main problem because if there is any kind of you know new changes or any kind of uh, ad hoc changes or requirement comes in so that will not be picked up in this particular model and also the problem is that if the development will take two months of time duration the testing cannot really start before that before the development gets completed the testing will not proceed over there so these were some of the typical problems which was there in the waterfall model and it really caused a lot of problem from the organization perspective and that's the reason why they thought of having a new model in which they can take up the dynamic things dynamic requirements and they can uh, take up like they can do these things in a much efficient way and an effective way there so that's why they you know launched or they moved with the particular agile implementations as such so waterfall model was the traditional model which was there and it was causing a lot of problem because in this one the things can be done only into a sequential manner this is uh, the only, the reason why the organization started looking forward for agile or for a new process because the problem with this uh, model was that in this model they the things are being done a very slow manner so if the development is done like after one month or two months so the particular uh, testing or the other approaches will only go once the development is complete which means that you will be facing a lot of problems and uh, when you are uh, you know done with the development then only you can perform the testing as such so uh, which means that the testing will also take a lot of time and they have to wait for the development to complete and that's the reason why the uh, particular releases used to take like uh, months of time duration to complete so they used to take like five to six months to do the releases and all so this is the reason why the waterfall model was causing a lot of problem and they thought of having a new processes in which all these issues can be addressed now that's the reason why the agile model got launched because it's not in sequential manner it's an iterative approach where in a different different iterations we deliver the uh, you know products so you have the requirement design the same different uh, phases going on there but it's not done into a sequential manner it's actually done into a particular iterative approach where in different different iterations the same things is done so once the development is done once the uh, particular coding is done or testing is done so they deliver the source code into small small bit and pieces so they don't really wait for months of duration to complete uh, the development and then do the testing and release it they actually do it into a pretty sequential manner into small small iterations and deliver it to the uh, production environment so this is the reason why the release cycles in the agile is much smaller as compared to the waterfall so the typical release cycles in the agile is you know either two weeks or four weeks so that kind of time duration is there in case of the agile model so that's the reason why agile really helps the organizations to deliver more to the production environment in less duration of time